is Monday, July 18th, and I'm gonna do a little shop vlog this week. So we just got back from vacation on Saturday um, evening. So yesterday was kind of unpacking and getting everything back to normal. And so now it's, um, I'm, it's Monday afternoon and it's time to get working on Fern Creek stuff. So I'll just take you along every day this week. I will be leaving town again on Thursday evening. So it'll be like uh, Monday through Thursday, I'll be doing some Fern Creek stuff. And so I thought I would take you along and show you what I typically do. Again, it's the afternoon, which is when I typically am doing Fern Creek stuff. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna get the cutting machines up and running. Danielle got a lot of work done while I was gone. There's a lot of stuff printed that needs to get cut. So I'm gonna focus on getting cutting. Then the thing that I have to deal with next is just, I'm gonna try not to complain about this too much, but moving into our new construction home and getting our address like officially registered has been a whole saga and it is July and we moved in January and it is still, we thought it was all fixed, but it apparently is ongoing. And now the post office has officially changed our address to the wrong address. So our neighbors are getting all of our mail and we can't change our address to the correct one because the post office doesn't officially recognize it. But, but how this affects Fern Creek right now is as of this weekend, my I have two different business cards and I cannot use any of them because a billing address mismatch issues. And no matter what I change the billing address to on any website that I need to use my cards, it won't accept my cards. So, and they're, you know, they're not expired. They were working just fine. So I think it's a billing address issue. So I've been calling the post office, but not getting through to them. So I need to keep calling the post office. And I also need to call the bank to see if they can help at all with the cards. For now, I just have everything. Well, I guess not everything. The big, so the big thing that's irrelevant is Danielle worked on Saturday and got a bunch of orders filled but couldn't ship them because she couldn't add more funds to our shipping account. I did connect our regular credit card to stamps.com to be able to get the postage. So, so I wanna go ahead and get all those shipped because Danielle's got them all packed up. So I might as well get those out today. Some frustrations. So I'll get the cutting machines going and then try to figure out this address and card stuff. And um, yeah. Here are the orders that Danielle got filled on Saturday. Oops that I want to print um, shipping labels for. And so one thing you'll see, we do put, as part of our process for filling orders, once we put everything into the mailer, we write the person's name and last, first name and last initial, or sometimes, you know, if they've got a really distinctive first or last name, sometimes we'll just put one, but we put their name on the mailer, and then that way we know which shipping label to put on them. So this was pretty easy to get these labels made because Danielle had already weighed all the packages and everything. So I literally just had to update my credit card and hit print. So you'll see these printing in just a minute. And I should have it angled so that you don't see the addresses coming through. This is a Rolo printer, which has been really good for us. I would highly recommend it. it we haven't had any maintenance issues and the labels for it are pretty affordable. I think it's really fun to watch it print. So while I've got cutting going on in the background, I'm working on a few things today. So in two weeks, I'll have another script release. So I'm working on, the scripts take a really long time to cut. So we've already got some started, but we need to keep working on them because it's not something you can just do a couple days before. So I am working on getting more of these scripts designed and they aren't, these are pretty, well, they, yeah, I guess they aren't too bad to design because I can take them all. They're all the ones that are already like on the scripts add-on. So I just have to get them formatted and get the colors fixed. So I'm working on scripts as one of my design projects today. Okay, another thing that I'm working on as well is, and sorry if my voice sounds funny, my, I have a nosebleed right now, so I am pinching my nose. Uh, but, but another thing that I'm working on designing are doodles. There's gonna be a new doodle release on Friday and I'll be bringing back the doodles that I used to have, but I'm also working on some new sheets. So these, the thing that takes a while is getting all the colors changed. So I'll switch to doing a screen recording of this. So you can see me going through and changing the colors. So this is the planner one. So I've got all of them laid out on the page, uh, but now I just need to go through and update the colors.
Okay, so I was working on scripts, I was working on doodles, and then I was also working on the weekly kits for October, and I got these, usually I like to design the whole kit at once, but in this case, I got them partly designed before I went on vacation to give Danielle stuff to work on, and now I'm going back and getting them finished. I do wanna show you, I'll give you a little sneak peek of kit 134, because it's really different than anything I have ever done before. So I am doing a photo kit. So instead of using like seamless patterns for the artwork, it is photos and it does present a little bit of a design challenge because like they don't repeat so you have to scale them properly so you don't get any of the edges of the photos repeating but I think I love these pictures like this one is a stack of sweaters and so you see all these different sweater textures and there's like leaves and um, wood and there's some pumpkins so this is totally different than anything I've ever done before and I hope that you all like it, but I think this has turned out really well. I, before I went full in on the kit, I um, printed like a couple sheets just to see how it looked because most of the people I've seen who do photo kits are doing it on glossy paper and it printed out on the matte paper really nicely. So I think that the, this kit is going to be really pretty. Been doing a lot of designing this afternoon and kind of printing and cutting in the background and I'm now, I'm gonna put those shipping labels on the orders that I printed earlier and head to the post office. Okay, so it is Tuesday afternoon now and Danielle was here this morning. I actually don't know if I mentioned this yesterday but Daniel, Danielle was gone yesterday because her sister is joining the Air Force and so she was going with to um, send her off, which was really nice. But Danielle was here and she got all caught up on orders, which was great and also worked on cutting some stuff. So I'm gonna keep working on printing and cutting. And I got, I made really good progress on the doodles and scripts designing yesterday. So while I am printing cutting, I'll also be doing some more designing for the October weekly kit so we can keep moving those along. I've made good progress on designing and printing and cutting. I The only thing I really have left to do for today is there is a lot of garbage and recycling that needs to go up and tonight is, tomorrow is garbage day but our garbage trucks come first thing in the morning so we need to take stuff out tonight and Brian usually takes them down when he gets home so I wanna get the cans filled up for when he comes home um, because if we miss a week it's not great because I generate a lot of garbage and recycling so I'm gonna take that upstairs and I'll keep the cutting machines running it's a little before five right now so I've got time to um, I've got some time to keep stuff running um, for the next couple hours so I'll come back down to check on the cutting machines and make sure they're still going but I'm gonna do some other things so it's Wednesday afternoon now, and today it's a lot more the same. I've got the cutting machines going, I'm printing. Danielle was here this morning and filled orders and also worked on cutting stuff and getting things counted for the October release. So the big thing that I'm gonna be doing this afternoon that's different, number one, I've got some messages on Etsy to respond to. And then I also have some customs to do because customs reopened on Monday, so there weren't really any the past couple days, but now I do have some customs. So I will show you what I'm doing for the customs, but other than that, it's kind of the same things that I've been doing um, the rest of the week, which is, you know, a lot, of, a lot of doing the stickers is printing, cutting, and then filling orders, but Danielle fills pretty much all the orders for me, so I don't have to worry about that. been working on getting them designed and printed I've been cutting them so I kind of am multitasking on this so I've got some printed I've still got a few I'm finishing designing but I'll show you the cutting so I do I'm using this graph tech um, can't, can't see it sorry I've got this uh, cardboard box here as a blind in front of the window but this is the graph tech CE 7000 and so I've got this loaded in and positioned correctly and then I use the um, Cutting Master plugin for Illustrator. The software that comes with the machine I don't think is very good and it's really easy to just cut from Illustrator. So I can send this over to the machine now. And this has, I've talked about this in another video, but this has made such a big difference for doing customs. They are so much faster. 
using this machine so you'll be able to see also i should say these customs are this is someone who wanted custom scripts to use on the dashboard in her planner and if you want i don't have like a size like this is a listing but you can definitely you can always order different sizes of custom scripts you just need to tell me what size you want them to be and it helps if you can tell me like a specific like you want them half an inch tall if you just say like i want them for this thing in this planner i may not know the right size to make them but anyway so yeah so this person was ordering a lot of different headers to um, customize their dashboard. So yeah, so this is gonna cut and you can see it's moving pretty quickly through it. So I'm gonna finish printing and designing and cutting these customs so they're ready for Danielle to send out tomorrow. So it is Thursday now and my big task for today is, well, I'm actually about to go to the airport before too long. So I've got a few things I need to finish up before I go. I've been working on getting stuff um, for Danielle to be able to print and cut while I'm gone. I'm just gonna be gone Friday through Tuesday, so not too long, but enough days that I wanna make sure she's got plenty to keep working on for the October release. And this, the doodles release tomorrow, so I need to do the listings for those. And I'll do a screen recording while I do the listing pictures. Fortunately, I actually don't have that many listings that I need to do because most of the doodles that are getting released tomorrow are actually re-releases of things that I already had offered in the past, but there's just a few new ones. Um, I will be doing another doodle release before school starts where I'll have, it'll be all new ones. So there will be more new ones coming, but the good thing is most of the listings, I still have all my old listings in Etsy because there was no real reason to delete them. There's not like a space or storage limitation. So I just have to update the numbers on those and then make a few new listings for the new ones. to do for the old ones is these are Danielle has like gone through and counted and quality checked them so these are the ones that we've got ready to go are all in this box and I've got the information from Danielle about how many there are so I can just go in and update the inventory quantities for those so then the other thing I should do too is make these labels for the um, file folders that the doodles will go in so Danielle can get them put away tomorrow. Um, this is one of those things that like I could show Danielle how to do it but I think it's probably just fastest if I do so I that's something that I just keep doing for now and since we have most of our inventory out on the tables now we don't have to make nearly as many of the labels as we used to um, but well I guess we do when so like for next week when the October stuff releases we'll move the August stuff into the bins at the back there but we've got a lot less in the bins than we used to so it's not nearly as many like labels and dividers as we used to be using all right so i'm going to close out the shop vlog there because i'm going to be headed to chicago very soon so i hope that you enjoyed this you know it's a little bit of re repetition doing a lot of the same things every day but um that's kind of how it is but you also got to see a little bit of the different things i do and some of the rhythms of it so i hope that you enjoyed this shop vlog and i will see you all again soon bye everyone mm -hmm.